Hey. All right, so I'm gonna make another bike packing bag. Uh, the last video was super popular, so I thought I'd continue on another one. Um, my big camera that I normally shoot these things on is getting service right now, so I'm gonna shoot this all on my iPhone. I'm gonna try out the new ProRes RAW and see if I can edit with it. So hopefully this goes well. So last year I bought this Orkley Quick Rack. It's pretty sweet. It's got these little mounts that pop off and a strap that comes off the seat post really fast. And I'm gonna try to make a DIY like tail fin sit up because those bags are pretty popular right now and they are super expensive and I'm not about to spend like $700 on a pannier rack set up. So I went with this guy, it's quite a bit cheaper and I'm gonna try to make a bag that fits on the back here. I still haven't decided how I am going to mount the bag to this yet, but I'm definitely gonna make the bottom of the bag like a hard plate Probably just gonna use a thin piece of plywood on this one. Yeah, it's gonna have a base plate and then I'll somehow mount it on there and then it'll have straps and it'll be a roll top, just like the tail fin one. Basically just gonna copy that bag. So last night uh, I was prototyping some stuff and some sizes on here and I made, made a paper bag, which is a rough template of the design I want. So it's going to be a roll top and there'll be straps that hold this down. I found a scrap piece of wood to make a base plate out of. Um, the tail fin bags are like 435 millimeters or like 17 inches long. For me to fit that kind of size on that rack it would look a little weird. So I'm going to make it a little shorter and then potentially still be able to fit my seat pack underneath it. We'll see. Um, so I'm thinking about five and a half inches wide um, by like, this piece is 13 and a half inches. So I'm just gonna cut a five and a half inch piece out of it. And that'll be the base of the bag. I am going to uh, round the corners on this as well. So the bag will have rounded corners, which will make it easier for sewing later on too. So I got the uh, base piece cut. I'm just gonna go with the one I made. We'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll regret it. Maybe I'll wish it was bigger. I'm gonna trace the base plate twice, extend it by half an inch, and then cut these out. I've cut the bottom pieces out and I've cut the main section of the bag. I'm gonna try to make it just one big loop. Sew these together. This will be the roll top. Just right now, I'm still unsure of how tall I want this bag to be. I'm trying to accommodate for how much this is getting rolled down and then how much this is gonna squeeze. Um, I've cut this right now at 20 inches tall. I think it's a little bit too tall. My template was only 14 and that looks too small. Um, I did draw a line here for 17 inches, so I think I'm gonna cut it at 17, put a half inch hem on it. I think that'll be pretty mint. Uh, I'm gonna work on the base piece now. I drew outline of this. I am going to sew pretty much on that line, maybe tiny, tiny bit of outside of it, and then leave the end open and then slide this piece in and sew it shut. I think that's how this should be done. Moment of truth. Does this slide in here? Ooh, yes. Okay, just sewed that, flipped it right side out. I'm just gonna check if uh, I've got the circumference right here. Making a little bit more sense now. This is gonna be a roll top. I'm gonna be able to roll this down and close that down. Hopefully this thing's big enough. But hey. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, I'm editing this right now and I realized I'm missing a bunch of the files from the rest of this day. So I don't have that footage anymore. The next step I was gonna go through was attaching just the main outside piece of the bag to the base. I did end up removing the little piece of wood that
that I put in there. I just cut a hole in the top, like a slit, and slid it out because it was just too hard to get around the corners uh, with the piece of wood in there. Okay, back to the video and the next day. So next step is I'm going to put this webbing on here for the top, the roll buckles. So I'm just going to measure this out and then break the sewing machine out again and get the buckles on here and all that. I just kind of got to decide how I want to do this, but it should be pretty straightforward. It's honestly like the straightest and best stitching I've done so far. I got it all done and if I pull on it, this side is loose. So I think I'm gonna unstitch all these so I can pull on this and get it more in the center. I think that would be the easiest way to fix that instead of unstitching a whole one of these sides. Next step, I gotta put the straps and buckles that this is gonna click on to. So, got my roll top. I just got a towel shoved in there right now at the moment to like simulate stuff. I got like two wraps on it. So I'm roughly saying that's like max load. Straps are down there. It's probably like seven inches to the buckle. So yeah, I'll, I'll go maybe make them nine, should do. Gotta sort how I'm gonna strap this down here and stuff, but. I might be really happy with that. Cool. There's the roll top. I'm gonna do the straps on the side still, but yeah, it's coming along. So there's these things called rock straps and they're pretty popular with like bike packing and motorcycles and just like attaching stuff to racks. And they're uh, like a nylon strap with buckles that you can clip together, but part of it's got a bungee on it. Um, they're really sweet because you can crank stuff down and the bungee takes like that little bit of play out of the system and it works really good so i was going to try to make my own so it matches the bag i found this like um suspender material and what i'm gonna do I'm gonna test this out first but i think i'm gonna triple it up so it's really strong and i'll put the buckle on here and then i'm just gonna sew a few lines across it to hold them all together so it still has the stretch because if i sew lengthways with this thread it won't stretch so I think if I just put a couple separate lines to hold it together, it should be good with the buckle in there. And then I'll be able to sew this to the bag. Okay, I'm gonna go five inches long and then the buckle will sit in there. If I stitch for an inch, that still has plenty of suspension with the four inches left. Yeah, so this is what I thought. Did a couple lines, still has the strength. Nice and solid. And then this part will be sewn to the bag. Got those done. They turned out pretty sweet. I'm happy with those. They're pretty strong. Once again, another interruption. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm missing a bunch of files again. The next part, I was just uh, putting the other straps on the other side, so it wasn't that important. But then afterwards, I'm finished, and then I'm out in the garage making the base plate. But you'll get to see the finished product at the end. After a lot of thinking and a lot of looking at bits and pieces I had lying around and materials, I kind of just went with my original thought how I was going to do this, but I found a way to make it work. I did buy some shitty cutting board from the dollar store because you can't get cutting boards at thrift stores, allegedly. I just couldn't find them. So I cut these out of some cutting boards. I'm gonna put these on here 
and then that's going to go on there like that. And then I had cut some of these to fit here. And then I'm, the bolt is going to run right through so I can just turn this crossways to hold this on. But this stuff's pretty brittle. And when I drilled a hole through here, I was able to actually, I was actually able to break it. So I didn't really like that, but it was pretty strong when I was doing testing on the two by four. I was ripping on it, it was fine. But I was looking around and I found the tire levers that are in the seat pack that I have. And I was like, man, tire levers are really strong. Cause you can like reef on them the tire and they don't break. And these are thinner and they look better. And they have this little groove right here uh, that fits perfectly in the contour of the bar. So when it turns, it kind of locks itself in. So I'm gonna put these on. I'm just gonna cut this end off so it, it's a nice flush look. But these are way, way better than the white thing. And I put one of these in the vise with a hole drilled in it and I reefed on it. It was super easy to break. I put this in the vise with a hole drilled in it. I was reefing on it. I couldn't break it. So I think this is the stronger way to go. I think I'm just gonna put this all together now. I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone under here. Don't know if it's gonna stick, obviously, because this is Teflon, which is supposed to be slippery, and this is waterproof with like some probably DWR coating, which is probably slippery. Um, but I don't know, see how it goes. I was gonna paint these black, but I don't have any black paint, and I don't really want to go get any just to paint these, so they're gonna stay white. Okay, let's put it all together. Yeah. We'll see what happens with that uh, silicone, whether it sets up and holds this all. It's more of like attempting to waterproof, but I think it's done. Well, let's put it on the bike, see how she looks. This is awesome. Super stoked with how this turned out. There are a couple extra things I would like to do to this bag. I kind of want little rings on here that attach this to here. So they would slide on this so these don't flap because I feel like I'm always going to be tucking these in. But yeah, I think the mechanism works all good. It's pretty stiff, so hopefully it won't move while I'm leave it annoying like put down on stuff, but shouldn't be putting it down too much. Well, I did have some problems along the way. And things aren't as perfect as I wanted them to be, but pretty typical for something I built. Pretty happy with this project, and definitely going to make another one, version 2. Use all the things I learned to build another one. So, once again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next thing I build or the adventures I go on.